Haina kwa nwa pikolo Pikolo mo Welcome to another Men and Service It is a Pebo Sibwe Pikolo mo Ezi kolo mo Today I want to discuss on the importance of private altars Importance of private altars Kenya Mokia okay. Ibuz you say, Ikenga Muka deal, a why uncle. Ikenga Muki, a deal, a why uncle. This means if one's private war altar is not potent and capable of providing and protecting him, the altar should be destroyed and a new one erected in his stead. Our ancients believe that every true man once of age should have his own ikenga ikenga in this step in this sense means private altar once ikenga is a is his altar a collection of the forces that are working for him coming of age here does not mean maturity but the age where you are expected to carry your own responsibility to successfully cater for yourself there is an age that you reach it means you are supposed to be taking care of your own responsibility and for you to successfully cater for yourself to take care of yourself or to start your own family or for you to be on your own you are expected to have your own work Altar. That's having your own altar is the first step. This established altar is where you root your prayers, your thanksgiving, questions about life as an only. It is in your altar that you make your request. It is in your altar that you make your thanksgiving. It is in your altar that you ask questions about naughty issues of life. Daily. In Hebrew cosmology, two major principalities are expected or is required in setting up a man's altar, king and working. These forces are his sheep and this sheep. Among these two, the former sheep is inevitable. This is why the central teaching of every Hebrew traditionalist is Manuchiki, Heyamachiki, they are followed closely by Malandem Nagefa. So it is important that you set up your own personal altar wherever you are. You do not need to live in your village to have your personal altar. No matter where you are staying, if, if you are staying abroad, if you are staying in the city, if you are staying in the village, if you are staying in another person's village, you should have your little private altar where you go daily to pray where you go for thanksgiving where you go where you stay if you have issues and you ask you interact with the same forces working for you what is the importance of this private order first your personal order your personal order is your foundational strength your fortress and defense system. One is as impregnable as his private altar. You are as impregnable as your private altar. The more strong and potent your private altar is, the more successful, the more chances of success for you. When I mean success, I don't mean I don't, I don't mean and financial success because whenever we say success people think it's about money no health is wealth people do not even consider health people do not consider every having obstacles here and there these are things that makes one successful you are not jumping from one case to another all these forces remove remove you from cases Remove you from things that will bring shame to you. 
So I say that one of the importance of having your personal altar is what? That this altar is your foundational strength, is your defense system, your fortress. Number two, any force, God or spirit, you put first before you're a king there. It's like putting a cat before a horse. I find people ask me if um, they can worship be a Christian or be a member of another religion whilst you're being into ordinary. I don't think there is any problem with that if you can put first things first. If you don't put your sheep, if you don't put any of those gods that they are marketing in other religion before your own sheep, before your ancestors. If your ancestors comes first, then there is no problem. If your sheep comes first, there is no problem. If your own Ikenga comes first, it's important that you put your Ikenga and your sheep first before every or any other god, before any other religion. Not strengthening, sacrificing, and appealing to your altar amounts to weakening your pains, and you will pay for such folly. So it's important for you to do what? Strengthen, sacrifice, and appeal at your altar, at your personal altar, at your personal altar. You are going to church with thanksgiving, for thanksgiving, with fowl, with good, with all those words. It's good, but before you do that, Take care of the world, your own personal order at home before you start going to the world outside. Number four, finally, how you treat your altar as an onibu is you determine how you will be scored and judged hereafter. Because in trying to keep your personal order, you will see that you are trying also to follow the footsteps of your ancestors. So once you derail, and play and belittle your personal altar, it also means that you are what belittling the ways of your ancestors. So it's important, let me reiterate this for again. Your personal altar is your foundational strength, your fortress, your defense system. Do not ever put the cat before the horse. Any god you put before your personal god at, in your personal altar is like placing the cat before the horse. Number, two, number three. You must make sure that you strengthen and sacrifice and appeal at your altar before you go outside to sacrifice and do thanksgiving in outside altars. Number four, you will be judged based on how you treat your personal altar. Thank you. If you love the video you just watched, please like and subscribe and also share the video. Please like subscribe and share this video if you love it thank you <laughs>